We are getting reports tonight of what is being described as a Democratic Party freakout after a big prediction from poll watcher Nate Silver. Silver's the political analyst who nailed the 2012 presidential results well in advance. And now he is predicting that Republicans will likely win control of the Senate next November. This is some liberals are now urging far left Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg to retire now before Democrats potentially lose control of the Senate. The strategic move right now is to step aside, let someone else who's younger and who would be confident, reasonably confident to remain on the court no matter how long um, it takes till the next Democrat is elected. It's Joining insulting. Uh, none of us would want to be told, uh, you're too old, get the hell out of here. Joining us now, Mark Thiessen, former speechwriter to President George W. Bush and a fellow at the American Enterprise Institute. And so, Mark, suddenly uh, the Democrats, at least the fundraising Democrats, don't, don't believe in Nate Silver as much as they did before. Yeah, you know, he was he was pretty much clairvoyant for the Democrats back in 2012. President Obama even named him by name, said, once again, Nate Silver nailed it. And now, all of a sudden, uh, the Democrats are sending out memos explaining how, well, he's really not that great a prognosticator after all. He sometimes gets things wrong. That's actually uh, happening. So, what, what you just said is true. Yeah, they, they were touting yeah. him, and now, literally, after that one prediction, they're like, oh, Nate who? What? He's, he's, <laughs> he's hit or miss. Exactly. Well, they're panicking for two reasons. One, they know he's probably right. And two, they know there's almost nothing they can do about it. And the reason for that is this, is that one of the reasons Nate Silver says that the Senate is probably going to go Republican is because of the enthusiasm gap, that the Republican base is really energized and the liberal base is not. The problem is that for the Democrats to energize the liberal base, what they have to do is embrace Barack Obama. They have to embrace Obamacare. They have to go out and give a f and fight for, for Obamacare and double down on it. And that is exactly what, if they do that, it is exactly what they will do to alienate all the independents in the center who don't like Barack Obama and are not happy with Obamacare. So if they, if they want to energize the base, they have to, they have to alienate the independents. And if they want to win the independents, they have to alienate the base. So they're trapped. And they, there's no way out of that trap. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and now, as I mentioned in the introduction, you're having some coming, coming out outright and saying what, what we need to do before November is get Ruth Bader Ginsburg off the court. She's 81 years old. She is probably the farthest left of the, of the progressives who are on the high court. And they want her gone because they think it'll be easier to confirm her successor right now while the Democrats control the Senate. Your thoughts on that? Well, you know, remember a few years ago when the Democrats put up an ad of Paul Ryan taking an old lady on a wheelchair and pushing her off a cliff? <laughs> well, now that's what the Democrats are trying to do to Ruth Bader Ginsburg. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, it's kind of creepy if you think about it. I mean, they're basically saying to her, look, lady, you're probably going to die at an inopportune time, so why don't you just quit? I mean, that's, oh, just, no. that's, just, that's just awful. Maybe they're I not mean, saying die. They're saying you might decide to, you know, take it more easy soon. Well, what they're saying is basically they're panicking that they're going to lose control of the Senate. Because if they lose control of the Senate, they lose control of their ability to confirm her successor. And so they lose control of but their ability to reshape the court okay, for but, a generation. But even, even if she listened to them, and, you know, you heard in the sound bites earlier, they, anybody who knows Justice Ginsburg knows, if she hears something like that, she's probably going to say, mm, to you, I'm staying extra long. Yeah. But... Even if you think Justice Ginsburg takes her, her marching orders from, you know, the far left um, and she retires, couldn't the Republicans slow down the process enough to kick it past November? Oh, of course they could. Well, first of all, I mean, from her mind, she's 81 years old. Justice Breyer served until he was 90. She probably thinks she's got another good 10 years on the court. So why would she step down? Justice Breyer still a, on a, there. Yeah, exactly. No, so he's still on the court. But he's, yeah. Breyer's so, I mean, still on the court, but you yeah. mean Justice Stevens, I think. But Justice sorry, yeah, Breyer sorry, Justin is Stevens, funny you should mention him because yeah. he is also getting pressure to leave. <laughs> yeah. the, the left is basically telling any justice over the age of 75 they might consider going uh, so they can replace it with somebody <laughs> younger. Boy, I don't even want to think about what they would be saying if you were doing that on the private The party sector. against ageism, right? <laughs> Mark, good to see you. Thanks, Megan. Up next,